Welcome back to Sunless Skies. The next thing I'm going to do is head back to New Winchester, um, give them my one port report, my one meager port report, get 100 sovereigns, which will give me a very meager amount of money, and then I'm going to spend that all on fuel and supplies so that I can go adventuring to new places, because at the moment... I need to get money, and I can't really afford anything to trade, so I need to just gather port reports, I need to find Magdalens, so I can drop off that person, maybe that'll give me some money, uh, I need to drop off the person who, I keep forgetting their name, assuming we've ever been told it, but the person who keeps time with the horocular office or something like that? Anyway, before I continue though, I want to go over something, so we've been reading a bit about how uh, London ended up moving to the stars, to the sky. You know, how did it get from the Neath to the sky? And we've heard some little bits and pieces about something about the North Gate being opened and a queen leading London to the skies. And it's been literally four years since I played Sunless Seas. Wow, it's really been that long. So I kind of forgot a lot of it, but I think what they're talking about when they talk about the North Gate, was Avid Horizon. Now, if you don't remember that, I certainly didn't. Just to refresh your memory, it's... Well, it's in the North, as you'd expect, because it is the North Gate, actually. Um, it was in the Neath. It's the place that was extremely icy. It was very cold. There were some rocks around the dock with strange symbols on it. I mean, you could dock there, but there was no, like, nobody was living there. It was just completely deserted, but there was a dock. And if you looked into the stars, I'm looking at the Sunless Sea wiki right now. If you did the action look into the stars, which I'm sure I did, the text that it gives you is, These are real stars. They burn above the roof of the Neath, beyond the earth, in the spaces of heaven. Even so far away, even now, their eyes are on you. But here in the night, under the world, you're safe. Safe. You return to your senses, gasping. Your hands are cold, numb. How long were you watching the stars? Yeah, so this... This is definitely the North Gate that we've been hearing about, and it sounds like this is the gate that took... Like, this is how people got to the skies, I think. They went through the North Gate, somebody opened it, and I guess left it opened, and people started going through. Before I head back to New Winchester, though, I want to do something that I've been putting off. I haven't actually properly spoken with any of my officers. Let's speak with the Chief Engineer. We got them first. I can gamble with them. Ooh, that costs money. Uh, given how low I am on money right now, I'm actually not going to do that. Talking with the Signalman requires... Two Tales of Terror. Okay, I got that. Trade Tales of Terror over tea and biscuits. He is reticent by nature, but can be coaxed in conversation over depressing stories with horrible endings. <laughs> Soon you are engaged in dismal competition. You raise the sad fate of Parliament and the tragic disappearance of the HML Parzival. He counters with a story of his own past. I worked on the Isambard line. It was meant to ring the whole reach. A chain of accelerators and hour funnels to speed locomotives between the outer ports. Doomed from the start it was. Some said cursed. But I reckon building a road around the sky is just bloody difficult. It were never finished. He slurps his tea. I'd like to take a proper tour of the reach. See exactly how stupid we were. Sigelman wants to go on a lengthy tour of the Reach. Accumulate six Reach port reports. Okay. Six of them at one time? Is what I'm getting from that? Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not going to do that now. At the moment, I can only get two port reports, I think. That, that probably requires you... Yeah, I mean, just based on the quest... They want, to, they want to go on a lengthy tour of the Reach. That probably requires you to have all or almost all of the Reach explored at that point. Yeah. So, we'll do that later. 
And when I have a bit more money, I'll talk with the chief engineer. Let's take off for New Winchester. Hold on just a second. I think I just found that strange homestead where I wanted to trade supplies for Bronzewood, and it's right, right next to Port Avon. Or Oven. Yes. Um. Oh, wait, this one's different. You sat down beside a cold, silent homestead. The windows are boarded, the door locked. But the foliage in the garden hasn't grown wild. It was abandoned in a hurry, and recently. Search the abandoned homestead. 34% chance of success. That's not very good, but I'll take it. Perhaps the settlers left something behind. I mean, what's worse that could happen? Probably something really horrible, actually. Something really horrible, such as... Gaining five terror. That's not too bad. A fetid clue. The homestead has already been pillaged. However, an odious smell leads you to a loose floorboard where someone has concealed a bundle of blood-caked valuables. The rings are still attached to severed fingers and the earrings to ears. Hence, presumably, the smell. Ew. Well, at least I got some money out of it. Ow, that actually just hurt my hole. If it makes a sound, then it hurt. Back at New Winchester, I just delivered my port report, got some sovereigns, went back to the main station, repaired my hole from, I think it was at 18, now it's at 30. Only cost about 37 sovereigns, so not too bad, and you'd never, you, you really never want to go out with a damaged hole. It's so not worth it. I bought some fuel, bought some supplies, literally as much as I could. And it's just about time to go, but there is some new stuff first. I can recruit the Fortunate Navigator, which I'm sure I can't afford. 100 Sovereigns, yeah. So, some other time. This is new as well. Mr. Menagerie is passing through New Winchester. A tattered poster by the station advertises the services of a Mr. Menagerie purveyor of fine scouts. Look at that angry little ball in that cage. Ooh, nice teeth. An accompanying picture displays a tall, cloaked figure, slightly stooped, clutching an array of adorable little beasts close to its long chest. Let's visit Mr. Menagerie. A pile of cages looms out of the smog. You can buy scouts for Mr. Menagerie, but he will move on after your visit. Well, I'm not going to be able to afford anything, but buying scouts... I already have the dividend bat. Is there... Are there different properties to different scouts? The cloaked figure looks up as you approach. Its garnet-hued eyes gleam from the darkness of its hood. Scouts? It rasps, hopefully, its voice like a cleaver on a whetstone. We trade scouts for things and stories. It leans closer to you. We're leaving soon. A star-smitten bat, an intrepid cavy? Oh my god. I don't know what a cavy is, but it looks like a rodent. Looks sort of like a gerbil-ish thing, and it looks amazing. A ratronaut? Oh, I'm just going to zoom in on that nice little face there. That's a good face. I want the ratronaut. I need... Th I can't get any of these things, though. Actually, none of them cost coin, which is nice. But this one requires a searing enigma. I think that was in Sunless Sea as well, and I think that was a really hard thing to get. Like, that's a really high-level item. Moment of inspiration, condemned experiment, that sounds hard as well. Savage Secrets, I've already got one, but I also need two visions of the heavens. I don't know how to get that. Hmm. Oh yeah, it looks like they do have different stats. Kind of suggested stats behind the scenes. I don't think you actually see any particular, like, stat numbers. But, like, the Star Smitten Bat. Good range, returns after finding one discovery, and conveys little information about what it finds. So, I guess the advantage there is that it probably has better range, but it only finds one thing and doesn't tell you what it is. Or maybe these are just different tiers, because this one... Seems the same as the bat, except it conveys more information about what it finds and has a higher requirement for mirrors. 
can find up to three discoveries before returning. Little information. Mirrors 75 or more. Mr. Menagerie nods its head. We are moving elsewhere soon, but we will leave a note saying where we have gone. We will have more things to show and stories to tell. It turns away, humming an eerie tune to itself as it gathers up its things for the next leg of the journey. Right, time to journey out into the unknown. I think I want to head in the direction of Port Prosper, which is where the fastidious inspector wants to go. They should pay me quite a bit, hopefully. I think they paid me like 50 sovereigns just for coming aboard my boat without even, you know, getting there. So Port Prosper is supposed to be north-northeast of New Winchester. So let's head up around here and then go this way. Here we go, about to head into the unknown. This is pretty close to where we started. The transit relay is right there. Trappistos hurry. I should also be sending out my scout. Yeah, go on, diffident bat. See what that is. That must be what it means when the scout says it returns little information. Probably means either it doesn't or there's a very low chance of it actually knowing what the thing is. So likely to show up as a question mark. A diamond. Is that something to mine? Because I can't mine it. No, it's just free, free loot. North, northeast. Can I go through here, or is that blocked off? Hey, wait, 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 what's that over there? I see like a red light vaguely there, and then I just saw a light of another vehicle. Actually, I don't think that's a vehicle. That's spinning around like it's some sort of, um, lighthouse. Reeksteed. Reeksted, something like that. Huh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's just a tackety scout. Alright, back to Port Prosper. Hopefully this isn't a dead end in here. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit hard to go straight north-northeast. I guess I could go around to the circus and then try to go north from there. This doesn't pan out. I think we're fine, though. The Hybrian Wilds have devoured countless attempts at settlement. This is a forsaken place. A lot of those I've read before. I think it says something, like, I think it triggers those and triggers the same things when you reach, like, a general area. Mm, oh, we're fine. Just some tackities driving very dangerously. North, northeast. Ooh, actually, I'm so close to the circus, I might as well go there to get a port report. Also, now that we're back here, that'd be a good time to check out the new arrivals at the circus. A fire burns by the obelisk where newcomers mingle. None of them seemed to know what drew them here, save that they had nowhere else they knew they should be. They trade stories in the last of the liquor from their flasks, finding solace here for reasons that even they can't seem to explain. Oh, we can attempt to recruit new crew members. Well, I already have full crew, so unless that's an officer, that's not going to do much. 9% <laughs> chance of success. Let's just listen to their stories. Who were they before they were called here? The broken, the disavowed, the fugitives. Every visitor has their own story and a hole in their heart. A few demonstrate acts with which they hope to join the circus itself. Others talk of their plans to leave this place and resume their lives. Not today, but tomorrow. Or the day after that, perhaps. Reduce my terror. By quite a bit, actually. 
It was actually getting surprisingly high. It was up to about 30-something percent. All right, let's just head straight north from here and then keep going this general direction. North-northeast is like here. Oh, look at that. Is that the obelisk? Nilsson's Point. So cool looking. I want to send out my scout, as always, but I'm extremely low on supplies. I think I overemphasized fuel when I should have put more emphasis on supplies. Benzessen Waste. Port Prosper. Well, I was going to say it's got to be near here, but it really doesn't. It could be all the way over here. I love those pipes, I think, in the foreground. Oh, looks like there's a lot of wreckage here. Oh. And that is an enemy. I think I actually want to engage them. I didn't even see that shot before it, like, right before it hit me. Because the light and everything was so bright that I just couldn't really see it. Raid the safe, explore the captain's cabin, recover its weaponry. Right. I only have one weapon. I can have two on this thing. I really need the sovereigns, but I don't want to pass up getting a weapon. It's not even a chance at a weapon. It's guaranteed. The bridge is in ruins. The hold is crumpled. But its main gun has survived. An engineering crew could remove it intact. This will give you a small weapon that you can equip while in dock or sell to an equipment shop. By the way, if you hear snoring in the background, that's my cat snoring. They snore really, really loudly and it's adorable. A rare find. Your crew return in one piece and bearing the spoils of your victory. It was a right devil to remove, Captain, says the lead engineer. Hope you'll make good use of it. The Marauder Cannon launches chunks of jagged, superheated rock via a brutally basic mechanism. Simple, ruthless, effective. Reclaimed Marauder Mongonel. Right, so I can't equip unless I'm at port, right? The fire-eyed maid of smoky war, all hot and bleeding, will we offer them. A rickety weapon that indiscriminately lobs smoking balls of superheated debris. It must be mounted in a large weapon slot. Oh, is, this is the large weapon slot, isn't it? This is a small armament slot. Damage 25, range 750, heat 50. How does that compare to this? Damage 10, damage 25. Okay, that's really good. Same range. Much more heat generated, though. Yep, can't change equipment unless you're docked. Both both slots heat up when I lift this. So maybe this small armament slot is fine for a large weapon slot? That wouldn't make any sense. Ooh, what is this in the background? Whoa! Those look disgusting. Those look bloody over there. Like pools of blood being excreted. Mushrooms and 
tubes and... Oh, this is fascinating. Ah, oh, we're already in half rations. Great. You know, I don't think this is going to lead to Port Prosper. I mean, it still could. It is north-northeast. I'm going to send out my scout. I think it's worth it. Okay. Ooh, I hear gunfire. What the hell is going on over there? That's probably where the question mark is. That looks like fingers clasping around that rock. Ooh. Uh. Horror. I found horror. Yay. Uh. Who's who? I don't know. That's a that's a tackety, right? So then I'm gonna shoot this person. Is that a marauder? I don't know. Behold the remaining. Uh, huh? You've learned from me. What just happened? You found a horror, one of the more disturbing landmarks in the high wilderness. Don't linger. Your terror will increase more quickly than usual as long as you remain near it. Okay. Hey, tackety. How's it going? The remains of a celestial behemoth rotting gently. Oh my god! Oh, that music's brilliant. This... Was this a sun? We know suns can be killed and that they're actual entities and they make the laws or something. Is this the rotting corpse of a sun? Um, right. Well, what I need the most is supplies. None of these are going to give me supplies. Unless unusual items include supplies? Probably not. Read the safe. 16 sovereigns. That's terrible. Hmm. Something... Something grave. Oh, right. I can loot this. A wreck. The wreck gleams with frost. Its windows are dark. Its engines silent. Perhaps something of value lies within. Enter through the yawning tear in the hole. The damage is so extensive that the whole chassis is on the verge of collapse. Tread lightly. 53% chance of success. I will take it. Everything I do is a failure. Did I lose crew? I lost one crew. Damn. Terror. Just making sure it's not going up while I'm in this screen. It isn't good. As your terror rises, bad things will happen. You can reduce terror by discovering new ports, returning to major ports like London or New Winchester, and through special opportunities at ports you've been to before. Try not to let it reach 100. This is usually fatal, and if you do survive, you will still suffer grave harm. Yeah, gain 15 more terror, 54 sovereigns. I have a tail of terror, lost a crew member. As you clamber through the hole, your lamps reveal uncanny marks around it. Were they caused by ricocheting shrapnel or by vast teeth? Your boarding party's search is unsurprisingly hurried. They retrieve only handfuls of valuables before the hole's groans encourage them to return to your vessel. Not all of them make it. The wreck buckles with a shriek that might have issued from the throat of hell and spins apart. Okay, um, hmm. I'm extremely low on supplies, and being around this thing is very bad. I am worried, I'm not quite sure what to do. I need to find a new port, like right now. 
Going all the way back out the way I came seems like a really bad idea. I'd probably run out of supplies before I even got all the way back here. Damn it, where's Port Prosper? It might be here, it might be here, it might be here. Fuck. I could send out my scout right now. Ow, I don't care. Scout, please find me something. Okay, I'll take it. This place is incredibly cool looking. I wish I could appreciate it, because man, am I low on supplies. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're already on half rations. What happens when you get to zero, zero, zero? Like completely zero, do you just die? General's weave. I don't think we're gonna make it to this question mark. Um. Hmm. I don't know what happens when you get to zero, but I'm gonna get there in just a second. Two percent. Okay, nothing's happened yet. Uh, something that glisters. That's not good, I don't think. No, that requires mining! That's useless! Okay, what happens? Like, does Terra go up faster now, or, or what? Is a crew member gonna die soon? What? What's... I'm just... Holding my breath. Might as well... Yeah, I don't have enough supplies to send out the scout. Okay, fair enough. I don't notice anything obviously going horribly wrong yet. Starvation. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Something's going on. Some of the crew look comparatively nourished. Others are more gaunt than ever and sport livid, unhealing bruises. If pressed, they claim the bruises are the result of an accident. Accidents happen on board, of course, but so does extortion. Turn a blind eye. Fewer mouths to feed, fewer but stronger backs. You may be glad of that soon. Ugh. So lose crew. Or punish the ones who look better fed. And that gains terror. Elizabeth will not stand for this. Punish the ones who look better fed. Even they're just skin and bones now. The birch will sting like oil of vitriol. The birch sings. Screams resound through the corridors. The food theft stops. Here, by God, you'll all starve together. <laughs> Yay. Right. So more horrible things are going to keep happening. The fatalistic sickleman shivers as if someone walked over his grave. Should I... Should I speak with him? Mm, can't do anything. Hey, this looks kind of like a... Fuck. This looks kind of like building stuff? This might be a port. Ah, the same damn thing. Fuck, my pair is going to be so high. <sighs> Punish. But yes, this looks like a port, please. Please be a port. Farm. I mean, it's a farm. Please, give me food. I'm heading in the general direction of the circus, by the way. Um, going up there is not Good. Let's go down. Uh, whoa. Discontent. An engineer cries out, her voice hoarse as a professional mourner. It's gone, she points through one of the stained glass windows. A star. It winked out. You look through the glass. Stars burn upon the firmament. The specific patch of sky she's pointing to is indeed empty, but you couldn't say if a star had been there before. Make a joke of it and her. Ooh, very bad chance of success. Set a watch on the stars. Is it true? If you organized a rota of observers, would you see it happen? But it will mean exposing the watchers to the stars' perilous light. Need two crew to do it. 25% chance of success. 
Dispense an additional ration of brandy. Huh. Yeah, so this actually has nothing... I think this has nothing to do with being out of food. I think this is from having high terror. Let's set a watch on the stars. I'm almost certainly going to fail this. Oh, wow. Gain five terror, lost one crew, and I have a vision of the heavens. On the third night, you are roused by the cries of a watchman. They have indeed witnessed another star die. Or so you deduce from their panicked ravings. Their distress does not ease as the night passes and you are forced to confine them to quarters. Your crew begin to engage in some gloomy mathematics. How often are stars dying? How many stars are there in the sky? How long until all is dark? I think I'm gonna die. No more crew, no more food. Your locomotive is as hollow as you are. The hunger pangs nod your innards. Yeah, let's close my eyes and let it end. Your captain has met their end. Your locomotive drifts emptily through the sky, a grave of iron. Around, above, below, the stars burn on, uncaring. Boy, am I glad I did not do permadeath. Resume from last autosave or pass on a legacy to a new captain. I was saying, depending on what's passed on, I would consider starting with a new captain, but it has not been nearly enough time. With this captain and the way I died is not really interesting. It is not my time yet. Let's resume from the last autosave. When was the last autosave actually? Please don't be somewhere horrible. Back at the circus. Okay. So what have I learned from this experience? I've learned that I should buy way less fuel and way more supplies. And I've also learned that everything over here sucks. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Port Prosper is probably somewhere in this region, so let's head that way this time. Unfortunately, my last autosave was not from New Winchester, so I couldn't go back and decide to buy more supplies than fuel. I'm stuck with that decision, but I should be able to get past that. 